guys I hope you're doing well this is Jen and if you're new here I have been making videos covering different journal structures where I try new journals almost every month and I don't know I think I've discovered one that I really love and I don't know if I'm gonna be trying any new different journal styles I also make digitals on a patreon I make lots of cute illustrations and the theme is mostly around aliens and uh, have cute girl aliens with mod outfits and just like lots of bright colors and nostalgic stuff. So if you're interested in that, I have a link in the description and I'll be sure to point out which uh, printables are mine so that you get a feel for the style. And yeah, so visit me on Instagram. That's also linked in the description and I would love for you to follow me if you'd like to because a lot of people just view the video and don't really subscribe. So I'd love if you could subscribe, that'd be awesome. So today I'm doing a flip of this awesome journal from June, which is a long time ago, but geez, I was, was so busy in July and I had to keep working on it through July. So it took me a while. I don't really have a July journal because it just, not much was going on, but I was just busy, you know, with lots of Patreon stuff and getting mail out and things like that. So, uh, yeah, I just decided to make a new journal and just combine both months and make it like a end of the summer type journal. So journaling is flexible and that's what I love about it. I uh, will show you this one once it's done. But if you look at my last video, I have a little tutorial on how to make these string bound journals. I actually bound an, another a book. It's a scrapbook for my artwork. So you can get the idea of how to make that one. I just looked up and found some colored binder, binder rings. I'm not sure the quality, but they're very hard to find. I don't know if it's, if something's going on with the supply. But if you look on scrapbook.com, there is just a little bit and it's just a few rings, colored rings in a little pack and they're not really like this big of a size. I think this is a uh, one and a half inch wide. Uh, so yeah, it's like six bucks for like, you know, a pair of these and then a pair of really small rings or maybe three each, I'm not sure. But yeah, I found some on Amazon so I'm excited to get that and I got thicker laminating pouches because I want to try to do another one of these and see like if I can get it any cuter than it is now. So anyway with that said I'm going to go ahead and do a flip of this and like I said the color is laminated and I just put some things that I thought were cute, uh, some stamps and some rickrack, embroidery, and a vintage coaster. And this is a three millimeter laminating paper and it worked pretty good, but it is very like crinkly, you know, and, it, and bendable. So I'm curious to see like the other thicker, it's very slippery. So anyway, I'm curious to see how durable the thicker one will be. So here on the back, just similar stuff, some cute uh, stamps and some trim and some sequins. I was actually able to get like the three dimensional sequins in here and it's kind of shaking a little bit, but that's kind of cool. Uh, yeah, but I'm excited. I'm gonna get some flat sequins and see what else I can do with it. So it helps if you put like really cute uh, paper behind it. And yeah, so this is my first page and this is a scrapbook paper I made for the summertime on my Patreon and I made it by just repeating some umbrella, some top, top down views um, of like retro type umbrellas. And this June word is from Cat Collage Club. This summer word is from Susie's Tiny Desk. I'm part of her Patreon too. And this is a sticker that I made and I included it in my uh, June printables but I also made it into a sticker and my Happy Mail tier, my uh, Alien Journal Club got one of these. So yeah, if you're interested in that, I've, I made a zine for last month and a pin back button with my design in it and a couple stickers. And I think that was it, but yeah, the zine was pretty thick. But so if you're interested in that, that's a pretty good deal and you get a postcard. So postcard print of my art. So yeah, this is, uh, this feels like it just happened yesterday. My kids are in school today. It's their first day of school and it's eerily quiet around here and I really do miss them. And I think it'll take me like a few days to get used to them being gone. 
but this is when they came home and I uh, just we got a kiddie pool because they were just dying for some summer like activities even though we signed them up for swim lessons and uh, got our YMCA membership later on they really wanted you know the summertime feeling so we got popsicles and you know the kiddie pool uh, this is one of my designs for June which was the swimming the swimming cap a vintage swimming cap on a little alien and just use some fish stickers and this is one of my found phrases that I put onto a piece of art that I made just to make the outline look like a little more pop out a little more and I like doing this because you can trim around it with your scissors and it doesn't matter if you cut straight or not you can't really tell and I punched some stars out of some packaging uh, we got like a beach ball uh, from my sister for birthday gifts and so I, you know, recycled that. So this was just some packaging and I made that into a page. And it's really cool. It was convenient that I was able to do it. I, was, I just lined up the holes with the previous page and added it in. So I was, I was happy about that. This is just a piece of embroidery and um, put it into a tab. And what I like about fabric tabs is that you can put buttons on them. And I have a flip through of a, of a journal a few months ago I think maybe it was April I'm not sure but I had fabric tabs and I uh, put some enamel pins on the tabs and I think that's a really cool idea if you don't have a fabric cover of any kind or you don't have like a pouch I think they the Delphonics pouches you can put them actually in your journal and that was my thought uh, for my happy mail tier is giving them a monthly uh, button and this is one of my extras my oopsies because it's like off center but i designed this little alien girl so i decided to put that in there so for this page this was one of my uh, pieces a popsicle uh i don't know if you guys remember there were popsicles that i want to say had gumballs in them i don't know if you guys remember that but yeah so i just did a space theme and i you know, thought that, that this could be like candy and a popsicle. And this is another one of my uh, rainbow designs, a space rainbow. I, I thought, I saw that that was a trend, people putting like little illustrations within the rainbows. So I just made it in my style around the space kind of theme. And I just have a picture of my husband uh, playing uh, Street Fighter <laughs> with our little girl. And my other idea was to put in some playing cards to laminate them and to punch them in as well because I just think it's a cute added uh, thing in your journal and I just have so many of these playing cards I never know you know what to do with them so I decided to incorporate them into the art of the journal so yeah I just put found words energy released quickly I don't know what that means but <laughs> I just you know made it into an art piece and just stuck a picture on the back and I made a bunch of these boarding passes and I made them in bigger sizes and you'll see more in this book but this was easy just to write quick journaling and I just again I just punched it in and it looks really like layered and uh you know interactive so uh, this is a pattern page I made with like a folk flower in the background and I have, this is from Pocket Journal Pam, I believe, and I just kind of use that as like a photo mat type thing uh, for this. And I think I used the Karen Dash watercolor of crayons on this and then some uh, paint markers to highlight this so it doesn't blend into the back. Uh, my husband loves cooking. He got this really huge wide uh, pan and pot and I took a picture of him making ramen because it looked really delicious and this is a picture of him with this, I think I have a description, it says uh, he was given this electrical pulse machine to help with his back and he got a huge family sized pan for cooking huge meals. So that's him with this electrical thing for his back. Uh, to try to make it feel better because he has like sciatica and stuff and this is another example of the bus and travel and boarding passes that I made a uh, maybe a couple months back as an extra you know bonus for patrons I traced the font over an old vintage bus ticket I have one right here 
this isn't the same one, but I just traced over this in my iPad so I could get the old style font and the numbers. And yeah, and left the and trace over the lines, but left it blank so people could uh, track different statistics or habits. And I just wrote on mine, and it says Jackson and Pepper snoozing together the first couple weeks of summer break. They look so sweet. So that's, <laughs> that's so cute. Uh, hold on, let me see if I can zoom in. Okay, I'm gonna try to keep this center and not move it. So just in case you didn't see the back or the previous pages up close, let me just quickly go back. Cool, okay. So when you open that, I have Cat Collage Club clippings here. And yeah, I backed this with some scrapbook paper, this boarding their bus uh, ticket. And it just says, Jackson loves playing Pikmin this summer. I tried to play, but it's too stressful. <laughs> the kids have been playing on a lot of screens, had to schedule their screen time and take phones away. Too much YouTube junk they've been watching, so. I try to monitor their YouTube really closely because I, it's so easy to like get uh, into like a bad video. Um, uh, my husband uh, writes lists on this uh, notebook he has and I just thought it was cool. He threw it away and so I took it just to have like contrast and a background and it has his handwriting on it. So I thought that was special. And here I just have a picture of my daughter and we made like corn on the cob over the summer and uh, she heard there was corn on the cob and she came a running. She buttered and salted it herself. <laughs> so I took a picture and put you are the cutest. That's from uh, Cat Collage Club too. And for this page I just backed it with some tissue paper um, and this is like recycled paper from a toy that uh, my daughter had a long time ago. Just some extra stamps, you know, and a tag that was from like, I guess, new PJs, like summer PJs. And I just put it, tucked it in the back um, and put this cute string. But this is over uh, Lydia from February and June. This is over her journal cards. And she makes them in different sizes. So I decided to use hers as a page in the journal. And also I forgot to tell you guys that in this journal, I decided to only use other small creators, um, ephemera and papers to decorate. And I, of course I use tissue paper and like collage paper and washi tape, that kind of thing. But I just used my um, Patreon buds and fellow artists to make this journal. And yeah, I just printed her journaling cards front and back on my paper. So you'll see another journal card on the other side. So this is just picture of our puppy. Uh, well, it's not really puppy. He's really old. He's as old as my son. Um, my husband brought him home when my, my son was three months old, just brought him home. We lived in Korea and he was like, in, he's in the military there and he brought this dog and we already had a dog. Her name was Sahara and she was very like vicious, like aggressive, like chow mix. And uh, yeah, she did not take too kindly to this dog and the dog wasn't potty trained and the bigger dog was attacking it and like injured its eye, had to get surgery. I mean, it was a mess and I was so angry at my husband. Like, why would he put that added pressure? Like we have a baby, you know? and. You know, he had to do, go out in the field and stay gone for a long time because he was like an officer. And so I was like home by myself a lot. So there was like a lot to deal with when he was away. Thank goodness we're not in anymore. But anyway, I always say, that's your dog. That's your dog to my husband. So, <laughs> I mean, I love him, but you know, I have, it's like a bad taste in my mouth. But anyway, they're the same age. And I wrote, uh, Auntie brought a ton of gifts and one was this squishy hot dog pen. She says her boyfriend has one and squeezes it when he's stressed, LOL. Uh, Bailey's lived his best life when Auntie came over. 
he got to sit on the couch and cuddle with her. He also joined at the beach and acted so alive. So this is a Shizu dog and my husband says that they typically are lazy and sleep most of the day and they're only active like a little while. And I was like, well, I think we're neglecting this dog because we don't, he doesn't really play. But when my sister comes over, he is so hyper. I have no idea. He's like rearing up to her and like, and I just think it's because, you know, she gives him a lot of attention. Like even when he's really dirty and like, he's like a Swiffer moth. We took him to the beach and he was just living his best life running up and down the beach. But like after that initial like 15 minutes of him like being really active, he would get up and try to walk and run, but then he'd lay down. And then he'd get up and try to run and trot, but then he'd lay down because he's just so exhausted. But anyway, that's about our dog. This is a big tag I made during the summer and I punched that in and just, you know, packaging stapled that on there. And I made sure to back this, the packaging a little bit because I don't like to see like, you know, the, the other side. And yeah, just, you know, stamped in my sister and ha I have like this random Florida sticker because that's where she's from. That's where I'm from, like born and raised too. But I don't live there now. It was so nice to see my sister this month. I'm so happy she she waited a week after we were sick. It was much more chill and I had time to clean up. I'm happy for her because she has a sweet boyfriend right now. They both work so much. I hope they can find other jobs that make them happier and give them more free time together. Uh, she brought so many gifts. It was so generous. And I finally got to use my best auntie on the planet ephemera die cut thing. That was during the month of Mother's Day month, you know, just to include the aunties that have decided, you know, to not have kiddos. So yeah, it's just a picture of us sitting around and, you know, opening gifts. And she got this hilarious potato toss stuffy that you press the button and it makes music and you toss it to each other and whoever, it's like hot potato basically game. So that was cute. I thought it was cool to include this a little scrap from the packaging. And she also brought a slip and slide that the kids begged for. <laughs> they were, especially my son really wanted to slip and slide. And I'm like, are you remembering clearly like the discomfort of a slip and slide, you know? And I hated them when I was a kid. Like, it, like the idea was great at, at first, but oh my gosh, it, they, you get so hurt on that. And lo and behold, my daughter got so many bruises, like huge bruises, purple, green, yellow, just from them running and, and slamming down on this slip and slide. But it was so hot, but we sat out and watched them uh, play on the slip and slide, like two old ladies. This is another blank ticket in that collection, uh, yeah. And I already said all that stuff. This is uh, the moment we went to the beach. And this is from Morgan Plans too. She, I think she did a color sheet and she offered it to her patrons. This is recycled uh, paper um, that I got from my sister. And this is a Lydia February and June card, journal card. And I love to use those as, as like photo backgrounds. But yeah, that's at our local beach and my sister's taking a selfie of all of them. And, uh, and in the, this was really what I was intending for this, uh, this ticket. This is one of the boarding passes. And I was intending for people to be able to put a picture on the right side. Of course, it'll be easier with the bigger ones, but that's what I did with these. If I can just unclip this pin here. And I just, it, it's blank and I taped it here and that's Bailey's and you can put a subject or you can put dates, you know, anything you want to write on here. Bailey's and his beloved. We took puppers to the beach with his best friend, Auntie. He played and ran happiest day of his life. <laughs> so yeah, that's how I intended those and, um, yeah. Yeah, I love it. Just punched a hole and put it right in. Tipped it in. But yeah, I love it. You don't have to use any tape or anything. And on the back, I just backed it with some scrap collage paper. And this is a Morgan Plans little uh, card. I say he just kind of ran for 15 seconds and then 
plopped down. He was so tired, but he was having so much fun. And that's a picture of him plopping and my daughter walking around. And this is a just a random page. And I, I my uh, daughter, because I told, we went through like lists and made a list of stuff to do, it, you know. Uh oh, okay. Because they typically like have the habit of, oh, I'm bored, I'm bored, you know, and the only excitement they can get is from tech. But I, we came up with ideas and journaling was one of them. And I found this later that my daughter, she, <laughs> she wrote down status update and she put Millie loves camera. Mommy thinks internet is slow. Jackson is more trolly. <clears throat> Daddy swims now. I'm learning how to swim. And this is a number from Dollar Tree and that's how old she is. So I, I glued that, it's kind of a tab. Random stickers, uh, new washi tape, a star, I'll just all kinds of random cool stuff. This is a scrap piece of painted a burlap uh, that I had a while ago when I was doing fabric collage. I really suggest doing that even if you're not gonna cut and do a fabric collage just to have this in the background is really cool and this is a one of my uh, stickers that i included in the happy mail tier i love it it's my son person and a picture of my daughter and it says you will always have power and freedom to think however you think and believe whatever you believe and here's another thing that i just punched in and it's a piece of february and june journal card and then my little journal card on top of that and I made this one into a big page but it's like little retro daisies I think and I just have a cute cat sticker it says my oh this my daughter said this my biggest dream is to be a cat just for one day <laughs> I thought that was cute she acts like a cat she loves cats she wants to be a wildlife a caretaker and she just wants to be around cats and dogs all her life and then she said after that I'm like I have to journal that and she says that quote will probably be in my high school yearbook <laughs> they just say the funniest stuff this page background page is a scrap page from cat collage club I just love that she made little pattern papers I hope she does that more these are these little washi paper stamps just wanted to use them up and one of my flower die cuts in my digitals, it's kind of retro, says you have the power to be creative and to solve problems or find those who can. And just some stuff on my mind. And this is like a little um, tuck spot and it's just like a stack of collage. So collage paper, map, and then just random scraps, stapled them and then glued a backwards L to make a tuck area. And this is another bus ticket that you can fill in. It says you can go anywhere in your mind, anywhere through books, films, in our art journals, in our dreams. Dream, dream, dream. This is a turtle Millie made at the beach. And this is a uh, like math card. Uh, and just I put the picture of the turtle that she molded out of sand, but I outlined it because it was so hard to see. <laughs> So yeah, that's all tucked in here. I, this spread was really cool. This is a spread that I did together with the patrons that are part of, of the group. And I was talking about using our, our reference art books to gain inspiration when we're stuck in journaling. And there was a, a page um, in my collage book on making grids out of squares you know, and then having the squares into like uh, triangles and using different colors. So I saw that and I'm like, okay, maybe I'll try that out. But it ended up being something from myself. So I don't think the point of like crafty books is to give you something to copy, but it's something to get inspiration from. And I think your mind, your um, unconscious mind kind of takes over when you start doing art and it just becomes something else other than the example that you saw. So this is just a spread with various collage papers. And I have a video on this paper, which I really loved. And I have a video a few ones back. It's like low budget mixed media paper. 
And this was done by watering down uh, Crayola super tip markers on marker paper. So it left all these cool marks, like it was like alcohol ink. Um, I think you have to use that and not a porous paper because then it'll just soak into the porous paper. Marker paper is meant for um, using like uh, alcohol markers, uh, Copic and you know, whatever other marker you have. It's like a, so it's like a closed, uh, smooth, uh, like flat piece of paper where the ink stays on top and it doesn't like get soaked in. So you can blend the markers really well. Uh, that's a really cool paper. And I, I, I don't know, I suggest people get it. It's very crispy when it dries too. It, the sound is very nice and crinkly. But anyway, I doc documented my kids uh, doing swimming lessons. So I was able to get their pictures. Uh, this spread was dedicated to Megan in the Moon, and I was a member of her Magical Mail for several months, and I just love her mixed media work. She and I have different styles, but I always have a place in my heart for like anything witchy or magical or gothic or that kind of thing, but she does use a lot of bright colors, uh, which I just, I love it. And she is very knowledgeable on mixed media stuff. Just very knowledgeable. If you ever have a question, she's the one to go to to ask like, you know, hey, what kind of paper do I get? What kind of medium do you think I should, what medium do I add to this paint? And so on and so on. So she's a really good teacher. So this was kind of inspired by her from some happy mail she sent me um, in her magical mail tier. This background page is from Morgan Plans. It was a really awesome collage page that she made and I really hope she makes more stuff like this. It's really unique to her, I love that. And this just a random painting out of a folk art book that I use and I get pictures out of. And this girl is so adorable. She's from Cat Collage Club and I love that she, uh, Micah makes more things in addition to cats. So definitely check her out. This like little um, Pusheen thing, like the tail wags when you move it, it's just been floating around our house for so long. I pick it up off the floor constantly. So finally, and I kept telling the kids, take this, like I don't know whose it is. Finally, I picked it up and I claimed it and I put paint marker around it and I just backed it with, you know, uh, a moth, like something kind of witchy and dark and I love moths anyway, so. This is from Morgan Plans here and she uh, found a really cool vintage book at a flea market and scanned in the book cover because it was so cool. It had all these little boxes with di different little illustrations in it. And I really hope she gets into that too, the found images, because that's really fun. This was like a vellum piece of postcard that Megan in the Moon sent me in the magic mail. This is a postcard she sent me as well in that. I thought it was so cute. And she's the one that told me about this um, meatball. They're called meatball. Never heard of it. But the big cheeks are just so cool and so adorable. And uh, reminds me of m my kids, you know, with the big sweet cheeks, you know. So I do love that. And so I just, you know, like I said, punched it and, and put it in. It was so easy. And she sent this and she calls it a spell card. I love it. She laminated some flat sequins in there, which I want to do more of that. And uh, yeah, so I just, so this is kind of cool. I like, I don't know, I like folded things in. I was just experimenting with the interactivity, you know. So this is attached on another page completely, but I just kind of, I don't know why I did that. But she made like a spell and on this card. It's so cute. And okay, uh, what is this? Okay, yeah, it's like a fold out book of scraps. Like it looks kind of hidden, doesn't it? But I just kind of put a lot of witchy stuff, some bugs, moths, bees. Um, what a dangerous business we are in. That's one of my found phrases, but I can't really think of a situation to use this. So I just used it in this abstract art that I made here. And when you open it, I just have, I stapled in some collage papers and I um, wrote about her and how cool she is and what I've learned from her and what she means to me and stuff. And on the back, I collaged all this stuff. I don't know if you could see it. Yeah, I thought that was cool. And you can journal on those. Okay, then you turn the page 
and she uh, this is a Lydia February and June card back here she did the one with all the stars I thought it matched perfectly and and like I said you know she made a design on the back Megan in the moon created this uh, envelope out of recycled window envelopes and so I glued it and I put my little ice cream alien girl on here and put a tag inside, which I was so proud of this. This is one of the tags I love, my alien cat. I think it's so cute how I put the paws there, you know? And I just distress it with like orange, like distressing ink, so. And yeah, just collaged on the back of it and said pool bay, like babe. And that's my daughter, my crazy daughter. Okay, and then just punched a photograph in here. And there's another laminated card set. Just, it's cool, you yeah? know? Just a cool thing to look at. I guess I didn't really do anything with this because it was like, it's kind of holding all this stuff in. I don't know, is that weird? You guys let me know if that's weird. Okay, let me make sure, oh geez, I cannot stay in the frame for ugh, anything. I'm so sorry. Okay, so this page is some graph, collage graph paper, my umbrella scraps, and this is a girl that I made my first month on Patreon. She is an alien girl, but I forgot to put her antenna. <laughs> but she's got a little cute mini mod dress, like a swing dress with a strawberry shortcake on it. And I put the bus ticket behind and put my little rainbow tag behind that. And this beautiful art is from Susie's Tiny Desk. And this is her rainbow too. And this is her phrases. Paint your life with the colors you love. So this was for my 40th birthday um, spread. So then I tried to get creative again and I had packaging from uh, Zebra Midliners, which I'm not really a huge fan of, but that's besides the point. But it was thick and I decided, hey, maybe I'll make this into like a little mini journal within a journal. Um, okay, you can still see it. Yeah, so I got some, this is some birthday wrapping with the avocados on it. Just some sunflower stickers from Dollar Tree and kind of repeated them here. And uh, my daughter loves to swatch out all the new stuff I get. So these are my um, new Tombow markers that I got from Walmart. It's like a very limited palette. And uh, yeah, so then put some cupcake stickers on, did some collage paper, and this is Susie, Susie's tiny desk paint tube. And then this is my little journaling card with the suns. And I wrote, do I know who I am yet? I think that's just a journey I'll be on for the rest of my life. <laughs> I have no idea who I am, but maybe I just need to journal that and maybe I'll come up with something. Cat Collage Club sticker in her um, Etsy shop. I'm not even sure if she still runs her Etsy shop or not, or if it's just Cat Collage Club. Journal or uh, collage paper and it's just a little piece of vellum type thing. This was a card that um, Recycloves gave me. It was so sweet. Stacy sent me the most beautiful snail mail she's ever made. She really put a lot of work into it. She's so generous. So yeah, the the uh, envelope itself is just so pretty and so bright. I love it. And on the back, just more collage collage. My 40th birthday was pretty chill. Zach got some takeout from an Asian fusion place. It was delicious and new to us. The vegetarian dish was the bomb. And I put the receipt here and just the scrap. When you guys punch holes in paper like this, save these little pieces. I love them. I love to use them as little peekaboo spots. Got a Care Bear sticker because I'm an 80s girl, 80s kid just use more packaging okay i got two sets of these tombos and they're they're at walmart and they're pretty cool colors to get started with i don't i don't know how many colors they have but yeah so this is what you get if you get if you get two packs and they have the fine liner on the other side but i started to use that in my sketchbook i really like it to add quick color collaged on the back again with my papers 
Um, my sister was so generous to me this year. I think it's because it was my 40th birthday and she tried to make it special for me. She actually uh, sent me an adorable sunflower bag backpack that reminded me of the 90s being young and wanting and wanting for cute stuff like that but too poor <laughs> yeah it's a rough rough time she really honored who I am and sent me a, a ton of stickers and washi tape. It was nice because I rarely buy washi tape washi for myself. She discovered new to me artists like Sarah Day featured on the next page. I have such a cute and varied washi collection going. I, I am so happy about that. I took the packaging, the little boxes that she had the washi tape in and tipped them in. So yeah, if you f open them, you'll see different things. So this is a sample of one of the washi tapes I got. This was another sample and so on. The snails were so cute. And then I got this one from her. And then this came on the packaging. So I thought it was so cute. Your art treats from Sarah Day. And on the back here, more collaging. I love to do collage. It just is so beautiful. I love it. I even think I want to take a stab at making my own. Her gifts really motivated me. She also got me some fake Crocs. <laughs> I don't know why she's so into them, but I wear them to the pool. Perfect shower pool shoes. <laughs> that girl loves those Crocs. Um, yeah, and so this is the other side of the Tombow tags and just, you know, collaged again. And this is a little, um, it's almost like a little gift card that I made uh, during the summer with the, I made my uh, skate shoe or my skate with daisies on it and wrote roll with it. So I had to trim it down because it didn't fit. But when you open it, there's a uh, business card from another sticker maker that my sister sent me. And she sent me a coffin flop sticker and a you can't skip lunch sticker. So, so if anybody knows who Tim Robinson is, hit me up. We're going to be best friends. The guy is hilarious and just crazy zany. The acting is just, I just, it's unbelievable. His skits. So these are references uh, to those skits and you can find them on, I think that it's called, uh, I think you should leave. There's two seasons on Netflix. I highly recommend it. It's kind of like sick humor, like kind of dark, uh, but it's hilarious. It's very adult, so don't watch it with kids. Uh, this is a gift tag where my sister got me more washi tape and questions to think about. That's another found phrase. I didn't really fill it in with anything. And yeah, and that's her paper. She sent me avocado gift wrap and there's a Care Bear. This is, uh, okay, this is background from my pattern paper, my rainbow design, umbrella design, beach towel, journaling card, bus ticket, and uh, starfish. This background is Lydia February and June. Oh, I love the pinks she uses. And uh, Susie's Tiny Desk made the summer vacation and she made this cute picture of these babes like on the beach laying out. So I thought that was a, a cool spread to put together. Swim girl, be positive, and just put some stars and just random stickers. This is an art piece I made for the summer to celebrate your body and to not care about, you know, perceived judgment from others. Just put the swimsuit on and enjoy your summer. So that's what I did. I ordered a swimsuit I like the swim dresses and I they complement my body. I love those and I got one from Amazon and they have a whole bunch of different uh, patterns. So this isn't the best picture, but I just wanted to put it in my journal anyway, just to show the kids that, you know, you can be confident and don't be afraid to put a swimming suit on. And yeah, another bus ticket I made, and then I made this pattern paper into a journal card. This flower is from my summer stuff. And this cute little cat in a swimsuit is from Cat Collage Club. It's so cute. Another journaling card is in the background from February and June, and just some pictures. They're kind of hard to see, the pictures of our local beach area, and the kids are in there. 
Um, we really got into this game called Skip Bow. It's just hysterical and we had fun with that. And I just dedicated this spread to like childhood and games and, and playing. You know, just because that visually represents like, you know, us playing the games and stuff. And so yeah, this was a school flash card. And it has a G on the back for girl. This summer we dug up a game we've had for a while called Skibbo. We started out with 20 cards and the game lasted over two and a half hours and ended in a draw. It's like crazy. Make sure, do not use the 20 cards if you don't want it to last forever. Use like 10 cards or something. Um, this is a really cool flash card that my friend Stacy Cosner sent me and she's a patron but she sent she sends me happy mail sometimes and I glued on a uh, illustration from a kid's book and just colored in the stairs and wrote on the back. Uh, we had no idea you could have a shorter game with 10 cards. We tried that with daddy and no one ever won. The game keeps going and going but it's uh, I don't know fun I don't know I didn't finish it I guess and this is a bigger boarding pass see how cool this is you can just take it out this is a bigger boarding pass and what happened is I punched the holes on the wrong side so <laughs> I thought it was going to be like going like this but when you turn it that's upside down so I just punched two new holes and I used this to put some frayed eyelash trim and some fabric trim and I think it's really cool it's cute um yeah I was so upset and I decided to try out Animal Crossing Pocket Camp Edition and I know February and June plays this a lot since she talks up, talks it up a lot I only ended up playing it a couple days I, I just like had to move on but um just put another kid's image really addictive easy and fun I also played Pocket Camp for two days because I was depressed, it was cute. Oh, I played regular Animal Crossing too. Okay, and then when you turn the page, uh, this is a spread dedicated to my favorite show of all time, Mr. Robot. Not too many people have heard about it, but I think the actors are gorgeous and um, it's so well acted. A lot of people know this guy from, he played the lead singer of Queen um, he's a really good actor and he played a computer hacker and it was amazing. And this is a <clears throat> gift sent uh, from Lydia in her Happy Mail tier. She hand makes her gifts every month and I just, I love that. I look up to her with that. But yeah, I punched through okay with this. I had glued it onto this side and add, I think I added some of this pink gelato. I'm not sure if she did that or if I did that. I'm, I'm not sure, but I wanted it to match over here. Maybe she did that, but it's a little book with pockets in it. I just love it so much. And she put little hidden treats in it. So that was cool. And I just journaled that we went to a movie um, and tucked the ticket in here, the tickets, but then like you can't pull it all the way out because the string goes through there. This is an old photo and event I never got around to journaling. Took kids to see Sonic for the girl's birthday in April. Discovered a new music group this month, Jungle from the UK. So many good dance songs, especially the song California. And that's a group of them. There's so many people in that band. Um, Mr. Robot about capitalism and mental health. Love Elliot and Darlene's sibling relationship. So emotional. Watch my favorite show for the second time. Love his character. And I, I refuse to watch any other shows or movies with him in it because it just, I, the, he's a character for me and <clears throat> I don't want to change that character. It, that's weird, but oh well. And that's um, <clears throat> his best friend that he grew up with, that he was in love with, Aunt Elliot and Angela. So yeah, and this is Lydia's journaling card. And this spread, I guess I really got into the collage and vintage illustrations to um, document our cat Pepper. She just looks so cute. She's such a little kitten. And, oh, and here's a birthday card that my daughter made for me. She asked me what I wanted and I said, I want a picture of Nian Cat. This is a really old meme or, you know, YouTube video from years ago. So cute. So she sent me that card 
And this page represents a lot of wildlife. Our house where we are, I don't know what it is, but the animals are so drawn to our house because I think like they just feel safe and we provide like food to them. <laughs> but this, I don't know if you can see it, but this is a picture of a, our stray cat, a raccoon mom that we were feeding because she was nursing baby raccoons and two of our chickens like all together and you can't see in the picture but in the foreground our other cat our house cat is there and they're just chilling and vibing with each other so that's crazy so i use susie's tiny desk image because i just love this picture she made just to represent being outside and here's all the animals from a, a vintage illustration this one too a chicken from morgan plans and the background is february and june in this too and that's my other daughter's Nyan cat version and then we have the back and this is uh, this is from Morgan plans the moth and this is just collaged with my paper and then my roller skate uh, pattern paper and then this is a Morgan's plans uh, collage piece and basically our mom raccoon my husband was being so dumb and was like basically putting food in his hand to have the mom like eat out of his hand but the raccoon nipped him <laughs> and so he like i was like whoa you should not have done that and so he went to the va <laughs> and he felt so embarrassed he had to get vaccinated a rabies shot but this is our <laughs> this is a letter from the department of health <laughs> from south carolina and they wanted to know like okay where is this raccoon like can we find it can we get access to it because i guess apparently the only way that you can tell if if a wild animal has rabies is if after they're dead like and they do an autopsy and my husband's like no you can't find this this raccoon so this was kind of like a um, receipt of that information. <laughs> Dear Mr. Pierce, the raccoon you, that exposed you on May 30th is unable to be relocated for rabies testing. We recommend you continue the treatment recommendations made by your healthcare provider. Your prompt attention to this potential rabies exposure is of the utmost importance. <laughs> so he had to go to the VA like you know several days across like a week i think and he had to keep getting these vaccines like poked into his wrist like all around and up and down and stuff something crazy just to fight off the rabies and it's really rabies is serious like a lot of people don't realize they have it until it's too late and they'll die from it and it's untreatable so definitely if a wild animal bites you <laughs> go get your your rabies vaccines but yeah, we make sure not to go near the animals, but the mama raccoon, um, we continue to feed her and she has her little cubs or whatever you call them. And she finally brought them out and they just like look like little p potatoes and um, they come and they come to the door and we give them cat food. Sadly, one of them got run over in front of our house. Um, within the last month, we've had a kitten run over, a squirrel and a uh, raccoon. Sucks, but... So my husband had to bury that, and that was really sad. Oh my God, is this, okay, it's an hour, thank goodness. But um, yeah, so that's our crazy life. It's not even that exciting, but I hope you guys enjoyed what my mind looks like. This is like a representation of my inner workings here, I guess. But let me know what you guys think, and uh, let me know what you think about this binder technique. Um, I'm going to be uh, ordering colored binder rings and I'm thinking about making some journals like this. So I just want to know what you guys think of that if if you're likely to be interested in, in those kinds of things. But I think my plan is to include scrapbook paper that I like and, you know, commercial scrapbook and then uh, pages that I have made, like scrapbook pages that I've made for my Patreon. I'll include a little bit of those pages. And, uh, you know, just random stuff. Maybe even like um, like the playing cards, like laminated playing cards. Uh, where are they? 
like this and maybe some boarding passes and maybe some of the tags. I don't know, you guys let me know what you think on that. Yeah, so visit all my links. I'll link everybody that I always mention in the description as well as my Patreon if you're interested in that. And remember guys, you really are loved, you're important, and you are creative and you are artistic. You just have to start. Okay guys, until next time, love you and thank you, bye.